This is VOA News. I'm Liz Pelka. The head of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Kevin McAleenan, is disputing reports of inadequate conditions in crowded detention centers along the U.S.-Mexico border. At the same time, some members of Congress are calling for improved treatment of migrants in U.S. custody. McAleenan and U.S. Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib appeared on ABC's This Week Sunday. VOA's Marcus Harton has more. McAleenan said reports of unsafe sanitary conditions and inadequate food and water were unsubstantiated. So we've done a tremendous amount. Uh, since December 30th, when we last talked about this, we had 20 medical providers in our facilities, border-wide. Now we have over 200. We've built soft-sided temporary facilities. I mean, what I saw was a number of people at 14, up to 14 in one area, sleeping on the floors. A uh, number of them saying they don't bathe in, within 15 days. Representative Rashida Tlaib was part of a congressional delegation that toured the Clint, Texas border station last week. Marcus Hartham, VOA News, Washington. McLean said 500,000 people have crossed the southern border just this year. Speaking to reporters at Joint Base Andrews, President Donald Trump says he's going to organize press trips to the detention centers on the border. He spoke while standing near an aircraft. Fans at watch parties across. Trump says he believes migrants are being treated well compared to the poverty they came from. Trump is sending a warning to Iran. You better be careful. This comes as Iran announces it is boosting its uranium enrichment beyond the limits set in the 2015 nuclear deal. Trump made his comments hours after Secretary of State Mike Pompeo commented.